How's it going guys, Vlad here and welcome to another video series in which I am going to be reviewing the top 5 uh, Kickstarter technological campaigns of each month. So these um, top 5 picks are based on several criteria. First and foremost, the um, capability of the project to deliver what uh, is being promised in the project itself. So what that means is I'm going to take a look at some of the specs of the projects that are not finalized and actually discuss if they would be able to deliver what they're actually promising you at this time. Number two, I'm going to be looking at the value for your money. So that means if you're going to purchase that $20 or $50 gadget, is it actually worth it for you? Is, is the technology there? And number three, I'm going to be looking at the team. I'm going to be looking at, uh, again, their promises. I'm going to be looking at um, the technology involved. So. Uh, make some comments if um, this is uh, something that I would personally buy or not and we're gonna go from there so if you have any comments, suggestions or uh, general ideas on how I could make this better please leave them uh, leave them in the comments down below otherwise let's take a look at the top five picks for August 2000 all right so in the fifth place I got the sense note mostly better gadget would which currently has $1,186,000 pledged out of a $100,000 goal, which is fairly amazing for uh, the recent um, Kickstarter uh, campaigns. And it has 23 days to go, so you have plenty of time to actually purchase it and decide if it's beneficial for you. So as you can see, it's a simple system that tracks your sleep behavior, monitors the environment of your bedroom, and reinvents the alarm. So let's take a look at some of the things that go into this device. So what you get is this um, fairly nice, I, I must say I'm actually impressed that they spent so much time and money into designing the overall shape of their product. So you get this globe looking uh, or sphere looking uh, sort of uh, tabletop device and you get a clip on which goes onto your pillow so what they're doing is your sleeping pill, uh, as they call it, will track your movement um, of your pillow and pick up any noise. So obviously this is just a gyro with an accelerometer. I believe they mentioned it somewhere. Oh, there you go. So six axis accelerometer and gyroscope inside of this little device, which goes um, back into the main hub through Bluetooth. And at the end of the night, you get a, a sleep score based on how how much noise was detected, how much light was detected, how much. Um, basically, it's going to tell you every night how well uh, you have slept. So let's take a look at the sensors that go into the main hub. So you get a, a light sensor, which makes sense. You obviously want to have um, as low of a light. Uh, level as possible in your bedroom it's gonna have a temperature or humidity sensor um, I guess that's fairly necessary but um, I'm not super familiar with what the ideal temperature and humidity levels are for your sleep you're gonna have a particulate sensor so uh, once again I'm not sure how this plays a role um, in your sleep but obviously they're claiming that uh, 50 million people suffer from nasal allergies, so that could be a factor for you. The wireless audio and more technologies that go into this hub, it's uh, Wi-Fi, so it can connect to your network, which I'm not sure why, uh, what they're doing. Um, so I guess you can log on to your uh, phone and actually see the conditions of your bedroom when you're not home, which I'm not sure why you would do that. Uh, Bluetooth low energy obviously uh, communication protocol a and I'm not very familiar with this technology a proximity sensor to see when you wave your hand over a sense to check the current conditions or stop your alarm in the morning so uh, personally I would prefer a button for this uh, sure I mean you don't really need to be fancy and have a proximity sensor on top but hey uh, sensitive microphone to pick up on the snoring, sleep talking, and noise disturbances in the night. I think this is one of the most uh, important features for me at least. Speaker for playing sounds to help you sleep and wake you up. So, um, not sure how this helps or disturbs your sleep, but hey, it is there. So the design, they claim that they've gone through many iterations of the design, which 
Um, yeah, I mean, you can really tell that their design looks really nice. Um, I would love to have one of these in my bedroom, so let's take a look at the price. So, this is the early uh, pledge. This is $99 or more. Um, and actually, it's still, it's still in, so you get to keep... Um, you can pledge $99 to get uh, the combo, so the main hub and the sleeping pill. And if you want two of them, so for your partner sleeping next to you, you will pay one twenty nine. So one for your family, so five for nearly the same price as four. You'll be everyone's favorite. So you can get uh, five of these gadgets for four hundred bucks, which I think is honestly for something as important as your sleep. That's an incredible price. And all these comments or features combined place the sense or sleep better gadget at number five so my number fourth uh, top project for august 2014 is the hover bike which currently has 21,000 uh, euros out of 30,000 uh, uh, euro goal pledged and 33 days to go so what this is is actually uh, not a uh, gadget that you could purchase at this point in time, but you're actually going to be pledging towards a uh, scale of their project. So as you can see at different pledges, you can go up to uh, the basic model at $600 and then all the way up to go and seeing them and seeing how they're doing their research. So what you're really paying for is the, res the research and the drive and technology, which I personally think is uh, or would be the future once it's perfected I mean it's essentially an electric bike that's hovering I mean how cool does that sound so what you would be getting is a one-third scale hover bike drone and accessories via your pledges so you'll be able to play with that um, little uh, toy bike so as you can see it's able to transport things it has a uh, very cool maneuverability and to be quite honest, I'm very curious about the technology of overlapping uh, propellers in uh, quad rotors. So I don't, I'm not sure how that handles, but hopefully through this Kickstarter they can enlighten us and show us what that does. So you can see uh, the model of the drone that you would be getting. And personally, like I said, I think this is a very cool project. So hopefully it does get funded and gets. Uh, more than enough backers to actually make it happen. So in third place we got the Blink wire-free HD home monitoring and alert system which currently sits at 290,000 out of 200,000 dollar goal and has 36 days to go. So what Blink is is a um, first ultra affordable totally wire-free smart HD home monitoring and alert system. So what you get is a camera a detection sensor and you should be able to access an app or uh, just go on your computer and see what's going on in your home so they're uh, making several claims it's ultra affordable easy to expand let's quickly look at the ultra affordable um, claim so what you get is for fifty nine dollars if you were the early adopter you could have gotten one of these devices and for sixty nine uh, well, 69 is the current price. So let's see some of the features we get. So HD video. So you got the camera as you saw on the device. That's pretty cool. Temperature sensor. Not exactly sure why this is a a necessary feature for such a device, but hey, I guess you can detect something like a fire or um, open fridge if you would like. Uh, motion detection. So obviously, in the center of the device, you have your standard ultrasonic detection sensor which scans the whole room at least that's what I'm assuming night vision uh, that's probably built into the camera instant alerts so it probably talks over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth um, I'm assuming if it has a phone app it's probably gonna communicate over Wi-Fi and uh, transmit everything to your phone that way built-in microphone so that's also interesting it can detect sounds um, in addition to the video live view so you can go onto your phone and check out each camera in your home privacy assurance instant on status alerts 
Um, clear view of your home of business. Motion detection includes motion detection when arm and detect motion triggers the recording of a short video clip. So if somebody trips the camera, it's gonna detect. Uh, it's gonna detect that uh, motion and it's going to um, record a clip. So something tells me that they're actually using the uh, ultrasonic sensor to detect the motion and then the camera only turns on when that has been tripped so unless this has been tripped it's not actually recording a constant video onto the device and I'm pretty sure they're doing that to save uh, battery life it's on so record starts within a fraction of a second uh, temperature sensor easily monitor the temperature in your home and customize blink to let alert you if it gets too hot or cold um, I guess you could use the feature to turn on and off some of your appliances like a AC unit or else or a fan LED illuminator couple of advanced low light performance or proprietary technology um, okay I guess it's it could be an I'm not sure what's the LED illuminator but it could be some kind of an infrared detection which is seen by the camera but not, not by the naked eye um, let's take a look at the app so you can add multiple rooms to your uh, device hopefully this works on Android as well arm um, desire monitor temperature Wi-Fi connection so there you go so it's Wi-Fi connected as uh, one would expect so at the end of the day I think it's it's worth paying for uh, home security and if it's only going to cost you $69 module if you got this uh, fairly large house you can probably buy four or five of them and you should be all set whereas standard home monitoring technologies will cost you much much more so that places the uh, blink device at a number three in my uh, reviews for August 2000 and number two we get the ember light turn any light into a smart light device so it currently sits at sixty one thousand uh, dollars out of a fifty thousand dollar goal so what this is essentially an add-on to your normal light socket which would screw into the socket first and then you would put in the light bulb into uh, it's opening and you can essentially control that particular light through your smartphone so let's take a look at some of the features so no hub required connect to your existing Wi-Fi router not sure why they decided to go with Wi-Fi I would have probably opted for uh, Bluetooth but we'll see some of the features below so plug and play for easy installation obviously you just get it, this is essentially a double socket so inside of this cavity you would see the same socket for your actual light bulb use any incandescent dimmable CFL LED bulb for dimming automated based on Bluetooth proximity so it does have Bluetooth it's actually both of them uh, simple lighting control right so it has probably a circuit which uh, will allow you to dim any light that's placed inside and has enhanced experiences automatically turns on and off based on Bluetooth proximity so eh, I'm not sure if it should turn on based on proximity or if you would like to turn it on and off yourself because otherwise you kinda have a blinking lights phenomenon across your house uh, security uh, so you can turn them on from a distance before returning home yeah I mean that's that's fairly cool feature so what you get is essentially uh, your device and you can after you unpack it you put in your light bulb and you should be ready to go let's take a look at the price um, so early, early bird special is done in which you would have gotten two lights but um, you can still get one light for 50 bucks or you can get two of them for 89 dollars so I mean that's fairly competitive for something like this you get a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module with a um, thermal regulator so some kind of a uh, PWM feature and I personally think that's a very cool idea I'm not sure why almost all of the light bulbs are not using the socket I mean I would I'm probably gonna get some of these myself and install them around the house to be able to just dim the light um, another thing to keep in mind is if you want to 
change your switch to a dimmable switch which is not going to be able to talk over Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and have most of these features is probably going to cost you at least 30 bucks whereas this is a movable device and hopefully it performs as they describe so that's what places this device at uh, number two of my uh, review so if you've been uh, to Kickstarter recently you probably noticed the tiny Tesla project and I mean this is just awesome I mean seeing something like this um, on Kickstarter just makes me happy so tiny Tesla the little singing Tesla coil anyone can build has earned the number one spot in my August 2014 review as you can see it received hundred and fifty five thousand dollars out of a twenty thousand dollar goal still has 17 days to go which means plenty of time for you to get your hands onto your own Tesla coil so what does this Tesla coil actually do so the Kickstarter is gonna allow you to learn electronics shoot lightning and play music using electricity with uh, the tiny Tesla also introducing one Tesla TS its big brother so we're pitching both ideas in one Kickstarter so here you have the circuit so Tesla coil I mean it's it's a fairly simple sort circuit that requires a uh, low voltage to high voltage conversion to output the lightning sparks but I mean having something like this on your desk is just it's great so let's take a look at the current price before we get into some of the features so the super early bird special was ninety nine dollars the early bird special which is also gone was 129 and now what you got is the um, standard price of a hundred and fifty uh, dollars so this is the large coil but let's take a look at the I wonder if they have more of the pictures of the small coil I guess I guess they don't um, let's take a look so okay so let's scroll back up so tiny Tesla tiny Tesla's desktop musical Tesla coils fires into your hand so I'm not sure I would put my hand in there but assuming that those are very low current I mean that could be possible to talk to listen and gather feedback from hundreds of builders of our previous kit so one thing to notice is that this actually comes as a kit and not a fully uh, built product so you're gonna get a bunch of electronics which you will have to solder yourself and I think I'm all up for promoting electronics and their uh, assembly to kids or young adults or just engineers like myself so that I think that's very cool and that's what has earned the tiny Tesla uh, project a special place in my heart I mean just just look at this this is amazing I mean this I would love to have one of these on my desk so uh, another thing is they they're actually plugging this into a, a USB port so I'm not sure if um, a normal laptop USB is going to be able to handle this but or they're actually maybe they're just sending sound through USB and then they're controlling the actual voltage through an outlet but yeah I mean this I think this project is well worth the price and if you have young children to whom you would like to pitch electronics I'm sure they're going to be simply amazed by this kit so at a current $150, I would, I think it's a steal. So that concludes the first episode of the uh, Kickstarter technological reviews for August and uh, 2014. So if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to share that with your friends, that would be absolutely amazing. Otherwise, if you want to comment and let me know what you would change or, or what else you would like to see or just discuss some of the projects that I've talked about in the video, please comment down below. So, see you uh, soon for uh, the um, September 2014 review and thank you again for watching. Bye.